This boy said he got a pencil stuck in his ear, but it turned out to be something much worse. This boy went to the hospital with his grandma after saying he snapped the pencil in his ear. Apparently he was playing in it with his ear when it accidentally snapped off. While the doctor was trying to find something in his ear with a camera, he asked the boy to describe it. And the boy said it was just a small piece. The doctor wanted to remove it as soon as possible, because leaving it in his ear for too long could cause an infection or even death. But when the doctor was pulling it out, he realized the boy was lying about what was actually in his ear. Instead of pulling out part of a pencil, he pulled out a watch battery. The doctor also said he couldn't see his eardrum anymore because the battery made a hole in it. But luckily they regrow and it should be back to normal within 6 weeks. Lucky people who won the food lottery. This person found a mini orange inside of their big orange. This vending machine had an error and distributed everything for the price of one item. This person found a green pepper growing inside of a red pepper. This person got a carton full of double yolk eggs. Now before I tell you the craziest one about this bacon, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. This person ordered bacon from Five Guys, but since he was their last customer before closing, they gave him the rest of their bacon for free. Homeless people who won the lottery. Laszlo Andreszczak was an alcoholic from Hungary who lost everything. He was homeless for seven years with hundreds of unpaid debts. But his luck changed when he bought a lottery ticket for just a few pennies. He won 636 million Hungarian guilders, which is equivalent to 2.5 million dollars. A man living in his car from England bought a lottery ticket with his last few pennies. He put the ticket away and six months after he bought it, he found out that he had won 250,000 pounds. A homeless man who lived in a tent won 50,000 dollars after buying a ticket. Even though he could have bought a small house to live in, he chose to upgrade his tent and help his homeless friends by giving them each a hundred dollars. People who survived the impossible. In 2011, while bungee jumping on the Zambezi River in Zambia, Erin Langworthy suffered an accident that almost cost her her life. Right when she jumped, her bungee cord broke, which caused her to fall all the way into the river where she fought for her life for 40 minutes. Luckily, she only suffered bruises and a broken collarbone. Cecilia Seacan was the only survivor of Northwest Airlines Flight 255 in 1987. Only half a mile away from the airport, the plane crashed due to a mechanical malfunction in the left wing. The doctors said they couldn't give an explanation on how she survived, and she doesn't even remember what happened. She fractured some bones in her left leg and got burns on 30% of her body. Five people who won the food lottery part seven. This person grew braided carrots in their garden. This person ordered a McDouble from McDonald's and got three patties instead of two. This person got four Reese's peanut butter cups in a pack of three. This person got a clump of cinnamon in their cereal and this person got a giant clump of flaming hot seasoning. Two prison guards who were saved by inmates. In this footage from 2015, 17-year-old Jamal Ludridge is being processed at Fort Lauderdale Police Department. As the officer is booking the teenager for burglary, he gets a pain in his chest and collapses onto the floor. The boy looks around and realizes they're alone, so he starts yelling and kicking on the door to get some help, and ended up saving him from a potentially deadly heart attack. They even had a ceremony to honor him. Inmates from a jail in Georgia were at a cemetery watering the plants and cutting the grass. As the day went on, the guards started to hyperventilate due to the heat and collapsed, leaving the prisoners there without any guards. They could have easily ran away, but they didn't. Six of the prisoners rushed immediately to help the guard. They took off his bulletproof vest so he could breathe better and one of them grabbed his phone to call 911. And because they saved a life, all six of them got their sentences reduced by a quarter. People who survived the impossible. On April 5th, 2015, Victoria Seliers went parachuting. She had gone many times before, so she had lots of experience. But her husband, Emil, sabotaged her parachute without her knowing. She fell 4,000 feet before hitting the ground going 60 miles per hour. In most cases, that would be fatal, but luckily, she hit a soft part of the field that had just been plowed. So she ended up surviving but was badly injured. The police later found out that her husband was seeing two other ladies, and he had promised one of them that he would leave his wife and take her life insurance money for the two of them after her death. They also found out that he had tried to murder her a week before they went parachuting as well. He opened a gas valve in the kitchen while she was sleeping, then went to his ex-wife's house to sleep. Luckily, she woke up and smelled the gas in time to prevent anything bad from happening. Her husband, Emil, was then sentenced to life in prison. Five people who won the food lottery part six. This person found a potato chip the same size as the bag. This person found a giant chip in their ice cream. This person found an extra large egg. This person's ice cream sandwich came with another half. And this person's pepper had peppers growing inside of it. 
This 15 year old is allergic to air and here's how she survives. One morning, Martina Baker woke up with red itchy dots all over her body. Then she suddenly got a swollen throat. Her symptoms kept going away then coming right back for weeks. Her parents kept bringing her to the hospital, but they couldn't figure out what was happening to her. So they then took her to an immunologist who diagnosed her with mast cell activation syndrome, which causes her to be allergic to anything in the air that isn't oxygen, including perfume, smoke, heat, water, and a bunch of other things. She takes medication every day and also carries EpiPens just in case. She didn't go outside often, but when she did, she had to wear a mask. And this was before everyone else had to wear masks, so she was bullied. Then her mom heard about a service dog program. The dogs are trained to smell the air, then warn the owners to stop walking forwards. They decided to get one, and now whenever the dog senses that she'll get an allergic reaction, it will start giving her kisses on the cheek to warn her. Five people who won the food lottery. When this person cracked an egg, a smaller one came out of it. This person found that in their pack of Skittles. This person got blueberries the size of a quarter. This person got a Kinder Egg with two layers of chocolate. And this person found five peanuts in one shell. This five-year-old girl disappeared every night until her father followed her to this house. It took four days for Tom, who's Annie's father, to realize that she wasn't in her room or in the backyard where she always played. When the girl finally showed up, he asked where she was, but she didn't say a word. On the fifth day, Tom decides to follow her without her noticing, but he loses sight of her. On the sixth day, he tries again and this time manages to follow her to her grandparents' abandoned house. He stayed hidden while he watched his daughter greet a female stranger. He then waits for his daughter to leave, then walks up to the stranger and questions her. She was an 80-year-old lady named Linda who ran away from her nursing home because because she didn't want to live there. So she wandered the streets with dogs that she adopted until she met the girl who provided her with shelter and met her every day at the same time to give her food. Eventually, Annie's parents gave the house to Linda and later with the help of donations, turned it into an animal shelter. Five people who won the food lottery part 11. This person found two fruit by the foots in one package. This person got a bun from McDonald's covered in seeds. This person got nine pieces of cereal stuck together to make one big square. This person got an extra hot dog. And before I tell you the craziest one about this goldfish, I found this app that reads the lines on your palm and tells you what it means. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person got a goldfish three times the size. This couple waited nine years to open their wedding gift, but when they finally did, it changed their lives forever. Kathy and Brendan got a gift from their friend, but she told them not to open it until they got into their first fight. Over the years, they had many fights, and it even got to the point where they considered getting a divorce. But each time, they would eventually end up resolving it so they wouldn't have to open the gift. She said if it wasn't for the gift, they wouldn't still be together, because it taught them to be patient and understand each other before caving in and opening it. But one day, they decided to finally open it, and you won't believe what they found inside of it. But before I tell you, I found this app that tells you your celebrity look like, and apparently I look like Zach King. Just press the button on my profile to try it for yourself and let me know in the comments who you get. In the gifts, they found wine glasses, cash, and two notes. One note was for Kathy and it said to buy pizza with the cash and get a bath ready for both of them. The other note was for Brendan and it said to buy flowers and a bottle of wine. Five people who won the food lottery. This pack usually comes with 12 cookies, but they got two extra. This person got three pizzas instead of two. A lemon the size of a watermelon grew on this person's tree. This person got three Pop-Tarts in a pack of two. And this person got an avocado without the seed. The luckiest people who survived the impossible. Satomi Yamaguchi is the only person recognized by the Japanese government to survive the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But unfortunately, he died at the age of 93 after complications from the radiation which he was exposed to. Eric Nurse was scuba diving when he found a cave 10 meters deep, which he didn't realize was the mouth of a great white shark. His head, shoulder, and arm were caught by the animal. After a two minute struggle, Eric stabbed the shark in the eye several times with a knife and it eventually let him go. Roy Sullivan was a US park ranger who was struck by lightning seven times and survived. The first time he was struck in the foot, the second in his eyebrow, the third in his shoulder, and the fourth in the chest and stomach. Five people who won the food lottery part 12. This person got a banana the size of their forearm. This person got a lemon way bigger than their hand. This person found a pearl in the oyster that they were eating. This person grew a carrot that looks like a hand. Now before I tell you the craziest one about this gummy bear, I found this app that boosts your Snapchat and makes it look like this. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person found a wizard in their pack of gummy bears. This lady refused to tip the waiter but didn't realize what she left on the table. Armando dropped off two slices of pizza for a lady and a child at their table. Then the lady questioned him on why there is only a few pictures of women on the wall. Since he was just a waiter at the restaurant and had no clue, he jokingly said that maybe women just don't eat pizza much. A few minutes later, he went to check on them but they were gone. The lady had left the restaurant without paying and she left him a handwritten note. 
that said, maybe women don't tip too. He felt bad because he didn't realize that his joke had offended her. Then he saw an envelope on the table that had Citibank written on it. So he ran outside to give it back to her, but he couldn't find her. He saw that inside it, it had a check for $424,000. Since he's an honest man, he didn't cash it and he handed it to his boss. They then tracked her down through the newspaper. Apparently she had that money because she had just sold her house. She apologized to Armando and offered him money for finding it, but he declined. The owner also explained to her that she had missed the wall with lots of pictures of women on it too. This man swam in a cave but never returned and a few years later the police found out the shocking truth. After going through financial difficulty and being $50,000 in debt, Ben McDonald needed an escape from reality. He decided to go explore the caves at a nearby park called Vortex Spring. Even though a certificate was required to go cave diving, he jumped in the water in the restricted zone anyway and two of the park employees seen him go into it. But he wasn't spotted at his house for the next two days. His truck was still parked outside of the park with his wallet in it and none of his neighbors had seen him. The local authorities began a search and rescue in the entire park. But after weeks of searching they still hadn't found anything. So they called an expert cave diver named Ed Sorensen. The police were sure he would find his body because he was diving deeper than they had gone before. But he couldn't find anything and the case was classed as an unsolved mystery. Until a few years later when a park employee was mysteriously murdered. Apparently he had heard information about Ben's disappearance which was actually a murder. The reason why none of Ben's remains were found is because they were removed from the crime scene. And the two park employees were paid by someone to leave before Ben returned to the surface. Many people believe he was killed because he got into illegal activity trying to pay off his debt. five people who won the food lottery. This person got a massive fry the same size as the bag. This person got a strawberry the size of their palm. This person found a smaller grape in the grape that they were eating. This person got four chips linked together. Now before I tell you the craziest one about this Sour Patch Kid, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person found the King Sour Patch Kid. Five people who won the food lottery part five. This person got a grape with eight of them fused together. This person opened their banana peel and found two of them in there. This person got a really big fry. This person got a really big lucky charm. And this person got a strawberry the size of their palm.